in the shadow of this symbol for power. These shoes are a symbol of something totally different, row by row. They're a call for help. She always had a kind of unique sense of fashion. She really didn't follow fashion trends. Just ask Barbara no and Andy idea. Parker. They're the parents of Allison Parker, the reporter who was gunned down on live TV. She was just 24. And you remember her smile and, and just, I mean, it could light up a room. And now her turquoise cowboy boots sit among thousands, a reminder that these shootings have real victims, victims like Lori's daughter, Emily. I remember getting the phone call from Emily the morning of April 16th, and she said, hi, Mommy, I've been shot. Fortunately, that phone call would not be their last. You see, Lori was one of the lucky ones. Her daughter, a student at Virginia Tech, survived. The numbers are so gross in this country, just so gross, you know. Any other cause of this much carnage would be pounced on by the you know, Congress, it's a moral failing on their part. This event was all planned by a group called Avaz, and this is not their first time making headlines. Back in 2015, it was more shoes on display, this time in Paris, fighting against climate change. And just hours after the Parkland shooting, they put up these billboards by Marco Rubio's headquarters. And now this, with the message to Congress, not one more. If you're not gonna do your job, we're gonna make sure we throw you out. Certainly just standing in the middle of it, 7,000 does seem like quite a lot. Uh, now one question we do hear though is where do they get that number? Well, they actually used a study done by the American Academy of Pediatrics using CDC numbers. They found that 1,300 children die each and every year from gun violence. If you break that down, that's three and a half kids each and every day. Inside the Capitol, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9.